I have a very nice OS48 Surpass engine that I got in the mail today. I bought it from a member on RC Groups. Um, I was under the impression that this engine was used. So I was going to use it as just a topic for my Box to the Bench uh, series of uh, engine videos, but to be honest with you, I'm not sure this engine has ever been run. This is something that I want to find out right now, which is why I'm kind of going to take a quick look inside and see if we could determine if it's actually been run or not. But believe me, I've run engines for a long time and either the type of oil that's been used on this or the fact or it just hasn't been run, but I can't smell the I can't smell an odor of castor or any kind of odor that would indicate to me that the engine's been run at all, so that's why we're gonna take a quick look inside here and see. I'll just start with the valve cover. I'm expecting everything to look completely pristine, which pretty much does. I mean, it's got excellent compression, but I mean, even the, the muffler, <coughs> usually at least on one run, you'll see evidence somewhere, but I don't see any evidence at all there. And again, I smell, it smells like tooling oil, uh, which is not what would be in an OS engine, but it certainly isn't uh, oil from a run either, it doesn't smell like. I'll pull this carb off next. I believe these two screws are the only cross point screws on the whole engine. They're a little bit longer than I thought. Okay, so let's pull that thing off. Again, it looks, it looks brand new. The only thing that kind of gives me some kind of uh, thought that maybe this has been run is a little bit of uh, silicon tubing there. And I did pull this needle valve out, which is kind of unfortunate. This needle valve, it looks like this engine's been dropped because the needle valve is bent. You'll see as I roll it here. So that kind of sucks. I'm not sure if that's going to have any effect. It almost looks like it's bent right here, so I'm hoping that this engine will still run okay. I guess we'll find out. Otherwise, I'll be going online trying to see if I can find a new needle for this really nice engine. I hate to think that I've got this beautiful new engine and it's already got damaged because the needle valve has been dropped. We'll see. We'll see how it runs. And I guess I could just uh, test to see you know, when it's fully closed if I'm still able to if it closes off the passage completely. Let's take this off. I expect to see a gasket under this header. And no gasket. Um, Maybe some OS engines did not come with gaskets there. I think I'll take the back plate off next. That should be about the next best indicator. All these screws feel evenly torqued. They didn't have that familiar snapping sound when they broke loose. You can see this back plate actually has the, the mounts for the choke assembly, but this engine did not come with the choke assembly. So I don't know if that was uh, just something they didn't put on the surpass and they just didn't change the back plate, or if this is just gone. So again, this is one of those areas where I would expect to see a gasket. And yet again, there is no gasket. So here's the inside of the engine. It's got quite good compression. Let me take a look at it. 
Yeah, if it's been run, it's been run only once, maybe. That uh, residue that I see in here. Not sure if that's. And it just smells like tool oil. It certainly doesn't smell like any kind of fuel residue at all. Really beginning to wonder if this thing has ever been actually run at all. It just smells like tool oil in there. It doesn't smell like uh, any kind of fuel residue at all. So I'm really kind of beginning to think that maybe I got a diamond in the rough and the fellow that sold this to me may have thought that it was, you know, a used engine. Maybe he got it from an estate sale, I'm not really sure. Take this little uh, timing cover off here and check inside here real quick. This is an area that's typically pretty dry. It doesn't get a whole lot of lubrication. So if there's a lot of tool oil in there, I would think that somebody's been inside this engine and oiled it up real well. So here's a ball bearing. Again, it kind of smells like tool oil, but it's pretty dry looking in there. You can see that thing's kind of wanting to shift about. I'm going to go ahead and put this right back on here and give that some, some support. Again, no gasket on that, so I, I'm, not, I'm confused now because some OS engines have gaskets, some don't. Maybe it's just the larger size ones that have gaskets and the smaller ones don't. But I could have swore when I opened my 26 up that it had gaskets. I am going to continue on. I'm just going to take the head off of this. I just want to check out the top of the piston. That's as far as I'm going to take this thing down. I really don't have any desire to do anything more than that. Pretty much know what I think I need to know. Looks like somebody might have bought this engine. The box is no longer with it. I didn't get a box with it. And maybe they just decided they'd throw a whole bunch of tool oil in there and not ever run the thing because even here you can kind of see pools of that oil. So I had to remove that to get to this last head screw. That felt like the head has never been off, for sure. I can tell by the way those feel and sound as they're breaking free. It's important for me to know if this engine's been run or not, because it changes how I would run it on the bench. If I think, like I'm thinking now, that it's a fairly new or maybe even an unrun engine I want to you know treat it like it's a new engine obviously and then break it in properly as opposed to just trying to you know run it and see what it peaks out at so I definitely don't want to damage a new engine by treating it like it's a used one so that's kind of why I'm going through this I need to find this information out I guess worst case scenario is I just treat it like it's a new engine anyway, but and I could have avoided this, but because this is kind of the thing I like to do, I'm kind of doing it. Hmm. That's interesting. You see a lot of oil there. Like I said, this push rod area and the cam gear area is not an area that typically gets a lot of oil, so somebody intentionally oiled this engine quite heavily. Now if you look at the top of the piston, now I'm really on the fence. I don't know. To me it does look like it's kind of been run a little bit. You can see me kind of smearing some stuff around, so I'm going to wipe that down. Maybe that's just the oil. Because now I wipe that, now that piston looks like it's never been run before. Now, granted, uh, even after two, three, four, five even runs, you know, the piston isn't going to be dark anyway. So I'm still really no 
closer to knowing for sure. All I know is it does look pretty sweet. I guess the one thing I know for sure is that I've got a really sweet engine. Just not sure about the history. So let's look at the valves. The valves should tell us everything here. Okay, so one thing the valves tell us is that this version of Surpass engine, they change the size. So we've got a much larger intake valve than the exhaust valve. Um, to me it looks like it has been run at least once. Uh, those valves kind of indicate the condition there kind of indicates let's see if I you know, rub this clean paper towel over the exhaust valve. I didn't really get any residue off there but again it's that oil I don't know. I don't know. Hard to say. Really hard to say. It's such a nice looking engine. I mean, I'm very glad that I got this nice pristine engine. That's cool. Uh, God, I think if I had to take a guess, I would say maybe this engine has been run once, twice, tops. No more than that. Oiled up and then put away. And that's another interesting thing I didn't know about these little engines. I didn't know that the 48 had a Woodruff key. thought that was something that was reserved for the larger engines. That does have a Woodruff key, so that's nice to know that uh, you need to be extremely careful there. Not lose that. Soak up some of that oil. I'll be putting my own oil in here anyway. So there you go. Nice clean little OS48 Surpass engine. Very low time. Is there a gasket on the back of that? No. So I'm going to put this thing back together.